there are some huge changes to the way Google Summer of Code or GSOC will be conducted into 2021 and going forward into the next years. I am Ishan Sharma and today we'll be discussing these huge changes. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel and like this video. Uh, we'll be discussing all of these changes one by one and let's get into this video guys. So there are a lot of these changes that I have written over here. We'll discuss if these changes are good for you, if these changes are bad for you. All of these things we'll be discussing. So make sure that you watch this video till the very end. Number one change over here is the fact that the duration of this program will now be reduced to only 10 weeks. It will be starting off by the 7th of June and will be ending by about 31st of August. Okay, so this is a big change. This was because a lot of people feel that the program was taking up too much of their time. This was too much time intensive. So that was a problem. And because of this, now the program has been cut in half, only 10 weeks. And after that, you are done with the program. Okay. After that, the amount of time that you need to spend. Okay. So uh, let's say you get selected. There are a specific amount of time that you need to spend to finish the project. And uh, right now the time was about 300, 350 hours. That has now been gone down to just 175 hours. Okay. So that's another, uh, big change everything has been cut in half and because of that as a result of that the stipend that you achieve the stipend that you used to get previously was about 3000 usd uh, and even before than that at about like 2016 2017 you used to get about 5500 usd right now it's about 3000 usd and in 2021 it will be halved it will be about 1500 usd because google wants to get a lot more people into open source community okay they want more and more people to join and because of that the intake of these of this program of google summer of code will actually increase a lot okay that means that you have a lot higher chance to succeed and to get selected into gsocs that's a good thing but that also means that that the exclusivity of this event will actually reduce a little bit. It's a very simple fund of supply and demand. If there's more supply, there will be less demand and you know, it won't be as glamorous as it used to be previously. So, uh, you know, that is something that will be happening, but hey, you will get selected. There's a higher chance that you can get selected into this program. So that's a great thing. Along with this, there were also some small changes like the fact that people who are in coding boot camps or who are not into some accredited university, they can also participate in this uh, event of Google Summer of Code. Okay, so that's also a great thing. That's a great news. A lot of people were worried because of uh, the fact that they are not into some four year program. They might not get uh, to participate in this event. So that is now completely taken off. You can participate if you are in some coding bootcamp or if you are you no, know, not participating in like a university, not uh, taking a degree right now. So that's another great thing that they have done. They want more diversity. Okay. They want more and more people to participate. They want more people to interact with each other. So this is a great thing. Along with this, the evaluation checkpoints have also been gone down from three to now just two checkpoints. Okay. So previously it used to happen after the community bonding period, you used to have these three checkpoints. So basically in the first checkpoint, you used to just show them TK, this is how much I've done. And uh, after that, the, your mentor will tell you, okay, this is pretty good. Now um, you need to work on this stuff. So you know, like they used to check you three times throughout the complete program that has now been reduced to just two. Okay. So first of all, there will be a, a mid checkpoint and then there will be the final evaluation. So that's how this pretty much works. These were the big changes into GSOC. I think it's a great thing that they have uh, increased the number of people that can get selected into GSOC. That's a great thing. They want more and more people to come into this community and you know, just contribute to open source, which I think is a great thing. And we should be seeing other programs also doing the same thing. Uh, as we move forward. I am really happy about this. Also the fact that they reduced the stipend to about 1500 USD. That's also a great thing because uh, previously a lot of people were in it only for the money and they were like, oh my God, you, you can actually get two lakh rupees. That's really good. I will definitely go and try to win this versus now only the people that are actually interested will go for this. I mean, sure, you can go for the money as well again. Okay, so that's what I feel about this program. It's a great uh, initiative by Google. If you want to know how to get selected, I have done a lot of interviews with people that have cracked GSOC. I will link them up in the description so all of you can take a look at that and also um, go take a look at these and talk to these people who have already cleared GSOC. 
me in my college we have a very healthy community of developers that like to interact and, and share uh, their own ideas so that's really good make sure that you find your own community that's really important uh, and yeah guys that's it from me today make sure that you subscribe to the channel like this video follow me on instagram i post there pretty much daily and also let me know what do you think about this new change that google summer of code has implemented is this good is this bad what do you think about this in the comments thank you so much and i'll see you all in the next video bye bye